So guys, I just wanted to fill you in. As you know, we are now up to 17 channels. We're doing gaming, couples, mukbangs, cooking, religious conversion. Uh, what are you doing? I'm just letting all the VIPs know that there's more places they can find quality content now. You know, it's not like I have to work. My husband is the head of a fragrance empire. But, you know, I like to keep busy. Mark's around. Say hi, Mark. Hey, everybody. And this is Smokey Steve and Mark. Either welcome or welcome back, and happy Saturday. It's the weekend, which usually means coffee, but it's been hot and thunderstorming, so we're having Diet Coke. So I hope everyone's well. I hope everyone's safe. Look after yourselves. Look after each other. We are still in transition at the moment, as you can see, so there's no kitschy background, but soon enough. Today, we're going to catch up with our fair lady, Chantal. Chantal Marie, foodie, beauty, big, beautiful me, the daily Chantal. As of this moment, the Chantal Show. Cut a couple other names. Um, so we're not Booty Beauty right now. We are the Chantal Show after being Chantal, period. And she keeps losing all of these tags that she wants to keep for herself. So we were live last week and we just checked in on, on the usual stuff. Um, using other content from other creators was something that came up. Um, let's see, is the marriage fake? Is it real? Where's your wedding ring? Um, blaming reaction channels for her loud to see content. The usual stuff. So today, we're going to check in on how not everything that glitters is gold. Chantal likes to put up a very nice front, that things are even better than they appear, not in fact worse. So we'll touch on that. Chantal, Shanty, does ASMR on one of their new channels, and she does it like a shit reactor would do, the kind that she would criticize, and she did very similar. Uh, let's see what else. She's up to four channels now, as, as we've seen. And uh, we were going to do no more live streams. Okay, live streams. Okay. We all know she changes her mind a bit, so we're trying to keep on top of that can be a little bit of a challenge. So, not all that glitters is gold. So, talking about her channel, we've seen some different things come up that indicate things aren't going quite as well as she would hope. So, low views on her main channel, on the Chantal Show Foodie Beauty channel, Views are a bit low. Subs are not there. They're kind of frozen. Um, there's evidence that she had bought subs in the past. Um, like, I think it was about 600 at a time, and the next day they were gone. So somewhere in YouTube land, um, she had made a payment. They caught it, and they took it, they took it off. Um, Chantal would not gain 600 in a day, nor would she lose 600 in a day unless she did something stupid, like, <laughs> like give her cats away to a relative stranger to her. So... She was using the Relax Area ASMR channel, which is one of the four channels that she has going at the moment. And then once upon a time, using that to comment on the Foodie Beauty channel to say what a lovely married couple they seemed. So she was commenting on her own channels, leaving friendly comments. If you get rid of hers and all her sock accounts, I don't know if there's one nice thing anyone says. If you go into the community post that she had put up, Depending on the topic, you'll see anywhere from 80 to maybe 250 thumbs up. And again, when you press that against the fact that, according to her numbers, upwards of 90,000 people, over 90,000 people, at any given time, are subscribed and could be watching. And less than, like, a tenth of a percent show up and hit a thumbs up. And that's the anonymous. No one even has to know that they like it. They could be a secret lover of Chantal's. Still don't hit the like button. So, 
Uh, her rapidly changing ideas for content, the 17 or 18 she has, ASMR, couples, gaming, cooking, comedy, gym vlogs, undeclared mukbangs, pothead stuff, five hour lives. She's done quite the cross section over time. And um, if this were me, I might be looking at myself at this point. Now I'm not a full time creator. We are uh, barely part time creators, in fact. Um, but we do like doing it, which unfortunately is more than I can say for Chantal right now. It's become a job. Before it was get high and send me money. And how could someone have it so good, but so bad, and let that go to go hustle and then have to split? It's, it's a lot. I think that goes, that goes back to the whole they were both lying to each other, Chantal and Sala. You know, he probably said he had a fragrance business and she probably said she made 25 grand a month because once or twice she might have. Um, and so she led with that. He led with him having a business and then they go find it and they, they see where it's located. It's in a, in a discount type place. Hey, I don't care. The only thing I agreed with that Chantal said about him was that at least he's working and it's honest work. I just wish that she wouldn't disrespect him by overblowing it so people think it's bullshit and that he doesn't work at all. Um, her doing that, I think, is kind of, it's thoughtless to Sala because it's revealing that she's not as proud of the work he does because if she was, she wouldn't exaggerate it to make it sound bigger than it was. So, um, she wants instant results, pretty much. And so going about these different ways of trying to do new videos, different community posts, peppered into all of these will be one ripping a creator to shreds that stays up for a couple seconds and then she remembers it's Ramadan and takes it down. And only Allah can judge me, right? The shittiest people are the ones who always say only God can judge me. I'm just putting that out there. Okay. So Chantal's ASMR and other nonsense. Um, so Chantal announces that she has a new channel. These are new, apparently. Um, doing ASMR content, which she's thought about before, thrown around before. Um, the closest thing to ASMR she did was that really sloppy eating with the slurping and the noodles and all that kind of stuff. I'm telling you, for the ASMR she wants to do, which is like rocks and trees and rivers, if she did just like chewing sounds, she could probably retire at 43. Um, just, just putting that out there. ASMR that's relaxing from Chantal? No. ASMR that you know, ditch the feeders and find a new crowd who like chewing sounds or messy eating. I know we touched on that before, years ago. And hey, it, as long as we're trying everything twice, why not? Um, so the channel for ASMR, the Relax Area ASMR channel, um, was in Sala's name. And when it came up as her posting it, it had like 1.4K viewers and no, no videos or they were deleted. The first video that went up was um, something that Chantal had lifted almost in its entirety from somewhere else, threw a little bit of transformation on it and said it was perfectly fine to put out. Let's talk for a second about hypocrisy. <laughs> I know, I only did it once and it was did, 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 did. Chantal has this idea that if one individual treats her in a shitty way, since that's okay, who said it's okay? Since that's okay, I can go treat people like shit, but not the people who treated me that way. I'm gonna go find some other sucker who made content and then try to call it my own. Is it within fair use? Probably. But so were the reactors. If they weren't, something would have happened by now. And if you wanted to do anything, you could have by now. So, apparently, you like it this way. So, I guess it'll stay this way. Um, I don't know if I'd prefer it that way if I were a large creator, but you have kind of a big target on your back between the animal abuse and the drug abuse and the, you know, all that other stuff. Um, people might, you know. So it was an old channel of Salva's and she gave some BS reason as to why it was abandoned. Haters probably, and now it's new again. The first video I said was 30 minutes um, and she added touches, quote unquote, according to her. And anyone who says anything about it has no room to talk because reactors take her stuff all the time. So is it wrong? Or is it just not wrong for her? It's copyright free, so it's okay. Okay, you know what this reminds me of? I went to school in, in Philly and in North Philly, Cecil B. Moore Avenue was the bus stop. And there's always someone somewhere on city streets trying to tell you something, sell you something. And these two guys would be on the southbound side of Broad Street 
at the top of the stairs to go to the subway selling what are free newspapers that are given out in the subway. So they take them, try to sell them to people who don't know any better, that they're not already free, and then in hopes of scamming them to make some money. So taking something that's free and then trying to sell it to people to make money? I don't know. Let's say it's, she said it was fine because it was free to use. So, okay, so it's, Either you believe it's okay or you don't. You can't have it both ways where it's wrong for these people but right for me. That doesn't make any sense. It's, it's at best childish and at worst stupid. So, um, bottom line is the ASMR channel is just not going to happen. It's spread too far apart. There's too many other people involved with doing it. And when you have that many other channels involved doing it, it's too much. It, it's... That much work needs to be spread over a few people to be done average, let alone well. Um, but, I, you know, she doesn't have it in her to make it to the end of the day. You know, it's been Ramadan. How many start overs have we had with, oh, I shouldn't have said that. Isn't it harem to be a bitch ever? I'm just, I thought. <laughs>So another kind of new content that showed up a few times were these comics that Chantal had done. Okay. Okay. So she explained in a community post that it was the kind of thing she used to do in high school when she would do these kind of things that are, it's satire when she does it, it's bullying when it's anyone else. But um, she had put together a couple drawings, put them up, and had a few, like, people weren't getting what this content kind of was. It's like, it's shorter, it's a few minutes, and what is it really about, and whatever. Well, one of them that was quite striking to a lot of people was one that had Chantal driving through the Burger King drive through hand-drawn, and um, going in to get some Nashies, and under the front passenger wheel is an animal. So it come up, while we're talking about animal abuse and animal abusers, um, Chantal had had at least one, if not three, documented incidents of running over an animal with her car. Now. A lot of that can be out of somebody's control. Do I think Chantal swerved to hit the rabbit? No. I don't think she has much aim with her car at all. And it was not the act of it, because that could happen. I hit a deer once that didn't die, but, you know, you don't plan for those things, and it's not intentionally cruel. But the response to it, oh, I was laughing because I was nervous and whatever. No, you weren't. No, you weren't. And then when you put out a sarcastic post about, well, what do you want me to do? Go to Dollar General and put some flowers on the side of the road where it was hit? You don't have to be such an idiot, you know? You really don't. Who does it help? Who were you going to share the success of your four channels with? Sala? Ghosted. Ghosted. Every three months, there's a chance of it. <laughs> so, um, you know, just, you know, more honey flies with honey than vinegar and... You know, you had one channel that you could live off of and support a couple other people relatively well. And now it's, it's not like that anymore. So, I don't know. So, with the cartoons that she's doing, they're meant to be provocative, especially the portion with the animal under the wheel. It's meant to be provocative to the people that are upset about the way that she treats animals. She's no idiot. She knows it'll rile people up. And riling people up equals talking and activity, which ultimately goes back to her. I think her bottom line is what she said the one time when they was, she was plotting behind the scenes. The only people we have to answer to are the cops. So anyone's opinion of her or assessment of her or, you know, observation, anything is unnecessary and, and useless to her, I guess. So she does mention that for all the reactors to say her content is boring, they can't help but watch it. It's not watching it. It's reacting to it. It's reviewing it. It's diving into as an observation of what was going on this week. And different reactors have different angles, and some are nicer or meaner than others, and some don't use content of hers for like video-wise, and some do, and some use pictures, and some show their face, and some don't. There's a pretty big variety of um, ways that people react and review uh, different channels. So it's boring as is, but apparently it can be transformed into something four times as valuable. Now, on the topic of continuing about having multiple channels, she says that she doesn't need to work and that Sala has an honest, hard work in man's job. I said this last week, I said it the week before. I said if the man works, but it's more humble than what you're putting out there, just say it. There's no shame in having a job and selling products to discount stores and it looks kind of like Febreze 
Somebody's running that business, somebody's gonna be buying it somewhere, and someone will make a little money. Is he Dior? No, <laughs> absolutely not. But using big grand language oversells what it actually is, when it would have been just fine being what it was. But that's too humble. That's too garden variety. That's too vanilla. He can't just have a decent job working in fragrance sales. No, he has to have an empire. So it's the same oversell that she does with all her stuff. Oh, look, he plays the piano. Oh, look, he's a, he's a chef. Why do chefs serve raw chicken to the bone? So she's not desperate to work because of his success. And yet she has four channels she wants to have monetized and running and basically have the same people over four channels because the, the Beezer people will watch her on one and then support anything she does and they'll watch her on all the other ones. And basically the same number of people will be just giving her more money by watching other stuff. She thinks. I think she underestimates how easy it is or how difficult it can be to drag one audience to another. You think 90,000 people are watching. Oh, if even half go over there. Was it 1%? Was it, was it 5%? You know, people can't be led so easily. People can be led sort of easily in social media, but not so easily that they're just going to start watching hacked off ASMR in a style you say is disgusting to take most of the video and just fart on it and call it, you know, interpretation. So you're disgusted with one type of behavior, but not when you do it. That's, that's a good working definition of Okay, so no more live streams. Okay, live streams. So we weren't going to have any of those anymore. Chantal had a bunch of reasons why she thought it wasn't good for her to do. Primarily because it was having to sit there a lot and not get much money back. The Super Chats do not runneth over at the moment. I think on her birthday, she might have made 80 bucks. Something. Before, Sean, before YouTube took their cut. So she didn't do too well there. And I don't know why she feels entitled to attention, only good attention. Um, comments have been on and off. Times they've been on, they're highly modified. You're telling me only four people had anything to say about a video or about a community post. It's just cherry picking and the deleting them. If there's nothing wrong, and they're all full of shit, then leave them there. The hypocrisy should explain itself. But sometimes your haters have a point. All of our haters sometimes have a point. Just because the messenger sucks doesn't mean the message is no good either. Um, it just kind of, oops, my bad. Just kind of saying, just kind of putting that out there. There we go. See, mistakes happen, just keep it moving. Now the idea that she is going to live stream again is interesting because she's not going to do it. Chantal still has members. She still has people that pay monthly on a couple different places. I wonder if the OnlyFans is st still open. It might be. So people, just like people who get Amazon Prime or Uber Eats and you only buy it once and tell yourself you're going to cancel next month and you forget and you forget and you forget. I think she's depending on the fact that people would forget and forget and continue to send her money to support content she doesn't make on a channel that she's not using. And, and thank her for it. Genuflect for that courtesy of giving them some stuff. What crap. It is such, such garbage. Here's an idea. Here's an idea. We're going to make quality content. We're going to open up the comment section and let people talk. Look, you've been on YouTube longer than I have. Of course, many creators are bigger than us. In fact, most probably. Um, but there's a difference between being popular and, you know, being liked, you know, like, a lot of people are popular, but kind of infamous. Chantal doesn't really have anyone I can think of who says one good or nice thing about her. If she could list a few, I'd be inclined to maybe agree or disagree, but she has, she only showcases her most unflattering self on YouTube. There's no other version of her. Is there a secret, kind, humble Chantal? No, doesn't exist. Not under there. Stop looking. It's not there. She doesn't process feelings the way the rest of us do. She doesn't process grief at all, probably. Um, she uses life situations that are challenging as an excuse to do nothing, sometimes up to six months later. We talked about her getting over the death of Timbit 
six months after. She needed an excuse to uh, explain away some behavior, so she was upset about that. Grandma got a piece of it. She was blamed a little bit, too. The only thing that upsets Chantal is something bad happening to Chantal. Doesn't care if anything happens to anybody else. She's out for number one. At least be honest about it. Occasionally she is, and people think it's ugly. The realest Chantal, rawest Chantal emotions are the angry posts, the angry community posts. And she singled out Charlie Gold and French Fry Girl and Just Breezin. Um, and she'll put whatever she wants up, delete it later, because the queen of integrity says what she means and means what she says and will be accountable for those words. Or not. Or not. So I hope the channels work out. I hope, I know you don't have to work because your, your man hustles, um, but I know he's not gonna make as much money as she was on YouTube, I'm positive. She wouldn't be living in a sh in a little, you know, our closets are bigger than that, you know? Um, so she better start thinking because if the YouTube thing doesn't work out, she's gonna have to look for another job. So what do we see going forward? Hell if I know. We'll, we'll find out together. Um, I'm not optimistic that the four channels are going to grow, um, but we'll see what kind of effort they try to put into it and see how they try to spin gold out of this horse shit. And, um, and we'll check in next week and we'll take it from there. So thank you all for joining. It's good to be back in a new place. It'll be much more exciting when the studio is set up. Thank you for watching. Please do subscribe, notification bell. We'll have new videos, and when we go live, you'll get alerts. Uh, we're on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all in the description below. Thank you, and we will catch up with you soon. Y'all have a good Saturday, and take care of yourselves, okay? Bye. Say goodbye, Mark. Bye, everybody. Bye.